Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another one of my training videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, both Asana and Pipedrive. Normally, I make videos just about one, but uh, today the tool that I'm talking about, which is Jotform, actually can be used in conjunction with both Asana and, uh, and Pipedrive. And so what I'm going to be showing in this video is how you can build more sophisticated forms for collecting information, whether it be for client onboarding, customer surveys, whatever it is that you need to do with your forms, how Jotform can be used as a more powerful option to the Asana forms and the pipe drive web forms that come built in. Let's uh, talk about why you might need Jotform first of all. Asana and Pipedrive do come with built-in form options. So in Asana, I can create a form to submit a task into my project. Same with Pipedrive as well. You can create web forms for creating a simple contact form for your website, and that's going to create a deal in your Pipedrive account. However, in both of these cases, these forms are pretty simple, pretty basic. There's not a ton of customization options. And sometimes you want to do things a little bit more advanced, maybe take payments, uh, book appointments, that type of thing, which um, both of these features can lack. So Jotform is my go-to recommendation for most of my clients when they need to build more sophisticated forms. And what you do with Jotform is totally up to you. You could use it for to create a really advanced contact form on your website for qualifying leads, maybe for um, internal processes, maybe like one client of mine submits billing changes from their sales team to their accounting department through Jotform. Maybe it's customer onboarding, like the example I'm going to show, customer surveys, all that type of thing. The first thing I really like about Jotform is just how easy easy it is to build your form. I have all my options on the left of different types of fields I can create. All the normal stuff, like I can put in, ask for people's names, emails, addresses and things. I can ask questions that require a text-based answer. I can have single or multi-option drop-down fields. I can have people upload files. I can now include star ratings, input tables. So just these, the range of options that you have with Jotform, are, you can do a lot more than you can with either of the built-in options for Asana and pipe drive. Um, they're always coming out with new features as well. As you can see, now you can take um, digital signatures, um, you can book appointments, you can fill in the blank, create product lists. Uh, so again, there's just a lot more that you can do with Jotform than you can't with other more basic um, options. Um, payments is one of those really useful features. You can actually connect Jotform to a payment gateway like Square, PayPal, or, or Stripe, you know, being a couple of the popular ones, but there are loads of payment gateways in here. So as well as taking information, if you do need to collect payment as part of the form that you are building, um, there's some great third-party payment options built into Jotform as well. As you can see from this page that I'm on here, it's really easy to brand your form. So I've got my you know, company logo at the top. I've got this nice kind of subtle background going on. I've customized the fonts and the colors. So I can really keep the form on par and on brand um, with, uh, with the look and feel of my website. So it feels really, really natural um, with just the rest of my color scheme and my brand. Now, in this example here, this is um, a uh, kind of client onboarding kickoff call and a form that the, this client of mine uses to collect information uh, about their clients. And one of the features I really like is we ask this question up the front about what products are being purchased because that's going to determine the questions we ask later on in the form. And so if you go to your settings, in conditions, there are loads of options to set conditional logic in terms of um, having the uh, form hide or show specific questions and options based on the answers that were previously given. So if I scroll down to the bottom here, we have these options where if they don't select one of these products, it's going to hide that particular page. And so we can really build like a form that's very dynamic in terms of different questions showing uh, or being hidden based on different answers and things. Here's an example of a question here. Is the zip code we have for you current? Um, and it's actually blank, so I can click no. And as you can see, this new question pops up. And then as I type in, as I start to type a zip code, I can even have information down here populate and, and I can show this image. So if I change that now to a 9-4, I can even have a different image. So this is what I really like about Jotform is just the power and the uh, different customization options that you have that let you do some really uh, useful things when um, building your form. And I think this all results in a better experience for the customer or the recipient, whoever's filling in that form. Um, you've, you've probably seen it before where you have a form and some of the information comes through and it's not very accurate. The um, If we can put 
if we can build a form that is more powerful and suggests different options and is just smarter, we can get better quality information and fewer mistakes. A relatively new feature to JotForm is that now they have uh, submission tables like this where I can see all of my submission data. So I can actually use JotForm as a database for storing and managing information after I've collected that information. Where before you might have to integrate JotForm with something like Airtable or Google Sheets, now with all of the information um, that I collect through my JotForm, I can manage it all in here, I can create formulas, I can click these drop downs, I can sort my data and uh, just do a lot more spreadsheet type of things uh, natively right, uh, right inside here in JotForm rather than having to export this into something like Google Drive. And the final reason, and often this is the main reason I recommend JotForm, is uh, because it integrates with tools like Zapier as well. So I can set up an automation where, for example, with this Zap, when I have a new submission come from this job form, I can, uh, in this case, I'm sending the Zap down a few different paths, but I can have um, different tasks be created um, with the different blocks of information from that form. And so this is great because it means I can connect JotForm with all sorts of different services. Like in this case, I'm sending information into Asana. I could have information go into Pipedrive. I could have data go into MailChimp. Obviously with Zapier, there's a whole host of options that I have available uh, when I connect something like JotForm. So there you have it. Those are a few of the reasons I really recommend JotForm, particularly if you're using something like Asana or Pipedrive and you need something a bit more powerful than the built-in options. JotForm really is a very powerful tool and uh, like I said, has some great customization options available. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.